Hello and welcome to another Roblox tutorial. In this video, I will be going over Region 3s and Roblox. So Region 3s are a very versatile type of class in Roblox. They can be used to detect parts, they can be used to create terrain, and they're overall just a very good thing to know about when dealing with Roblox Studio. So make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video, and let's get it started. So, what exactly is a Region 3? A Region 3 is a rectangular prism just like a part in Roblox. But unlike a part, a region's size and position are defined by two vectors, the min and the max. And so basically, let me, let me show you. Here is our rectangular prism. A part, its position is defined by a point in the center, so like let's say right there. And its size is determined by a vector that gives us the length, the height, and the width. But in a region 3, it's defined by the min vector and the max vector. So the min vector would be around right here, and the max vector would be right here. So using these two vectors, you can basically already get the size and the position of our region. The thing about using a minimum and a maximum vector is the fact that if you switch them up, or if you mix them up, your region will have a negative size and a weird position. So when you're making your regions, you always have to make sure that your minimum is your first vector and your maximum is your second. So now let's go into Roblox Studio and make a region. So usually in Roblox, you don't just make a region using code, using a min and a max vector. You make a part that represents your region, and then you just make a region around that part. So let me just make a quick little part right here. There we go. I'm going to make it a little bit transparent. I'm going to anchor it and turn can collide off. And we're just going to name this my re, if I can spell it, region part. There we go. And I'm going to create a script inside of this part. Let me zoom in. This is going to be our region script. I'm just going to name it region script. First thing I'm going to define is our region part. So local part will be equal to script dot parent. And creating a region three is actually pretty easy. So let's just disregard our part for a second. So I can define my region as equal to region three dot new. And it takes in two vectors, a min and a max. So unlike a part, if you were to create a part, you would give it a position or C frame and size. With our region, we have to give it a minimum and a maximum vector. So in Roblox, our min vector would be like right there at the bottom left, and the max vector would be like right there at the top. So let's go back into our script. And the way you would define this for our part is by saying the part dot position minus the part dot size divided by two and the part dot position plus let me zoom out the part dot size divided by two so what this means is let me go back to my little picture let me just make this smaller so this is our part dot position and we want to get the minimum and the max with this position and with our size. So the way we do that is we take the size and we divide it by 2. So size would usually just be a vector that expands the whole rectangular prism, let's say. But if you divide it by 2, then we can offset our position either plus or minus by this. So it'll offset it by size divided by 2. So it'll go here to here for the minimum and then go from here to here for the maximum. And so if you were to just run this, nothing would happen because there's are a few functions that we have to use to actually make our region 3 useful. And the first one is workspace find part in region 3. So I'm going to say a local variable, parts, and this is a list, and it's going to be equal to workspace find part on region 3 it's in region 3 my bad in region 3 find parts in region 3 and you just send in the region let's just do that for now and if we were to loop through the parts 
in pairs for I part in pairs. Part do print part dot name. Let's just run this. So you can see our region is detecting our base plate, which is down here, and our region part. And our region part is just the part that we use to define our region. So usually you don't want that to happen. You don't want our region 3 to be detecting the part that's supposed to re represent itself because that just doesn't really make sense. So the way you'd get around this is in the second parameter of this find parts in region 3 function, you would define a part which would be the ignore descendants instance. So what that basically means is when our region is searching for all the parts within the region of this like rectangular prism, it would ignore our region part. So if we were to run this, you can see it only detects the base plate. And now if you were if you want to set this up for a player, what I do is I'd say a while loop while true do and then just put an end down here. Let me just tab this in and wait a second each loop. And then if we were to run this with our player, you can see the loops working well. And when I go into my region, you can see it detects where I go through, which is great. And if I'm out of the region, it doesn't detect anything. It does detect the base plate. I'm going to go back in. It detects all of my body parts. And if you want to actually get the player out of this, you would just say local character equals game dot... Actually, I would say local player equals game dot players get player from character part dot parent. And then I'd say if player then print player dot name there we go so if i were to run this it should say nothing because the region is not a player ignore these errors this is just some um, roblox stuff i think it has to do with loading some textures or whatever but when i go into my region you can see it detects me but since all of my body parts are in the region it detects me multiple times but that should not be a problem for most of your scripts. So region threes in Roblox are very useful for detecting parts and detecting players, but one of the biggest uses for our regions is to making terrain. And so let's do that. First, I'm gonna comment out our infinite loop because we don't want that messing up our code. And now I'm going to create our terrain. And before you create your terrain, you have to do region equals region expand to grid 4. So what this basically does is it aligns our region with the native voxel based terrain system in Roblox. So if you don't know, a voxel is a basically a 3D pixel. So a pixel is like, you know, any point on your screen. A voxel is like a 3D pixel. Think of it as a, with a like a part with a defined size that is like a cube. So each voxel in Roblox is 4x4x4 four by four by four studs, and it's used to generate terrain. So when we want to create terrain using our region, it has to be aligned to this voxel grid, and that's exactly what this function does. So remember to use it. And then making the terrain is pretty simple. After that, let's do game.workspace.terrain, and then you do fill region, and it takes three parameters, the region that you want to fill, the resolution, the resolution should always be 4. I don't know why it's a parameter, but it just is. So just always leave that to 4. And then you have to set the material, enum.material. Let's say grass. There we go. So if we were to run this, you can see the textures take a little while to load in. But our region is now filled with grass. And you can see it's not necessarily conforming to our part. Our part is like in there because it ha had to expand to the grid. But that's how you generate terrain. And you can do whatever material you want. Like I can do basalt, let's say, to give a nice stony look. You can also notice how it generates differently. That's pretty interesting. But yeah. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about Region 3s. I think they're a very cool part of Roblox. And they're pretty useful. 
I'm sorry that this video took so long to make. I've been working a lot on my pod racing game. I'll have a video out on that very soon. And that's been taking up most of my time. But make sure to comment any of your questions and suggestions down below. I think some people wanted to see me make some like music regions out of this. I could definitely do that. Just put your feedback in the comments. But other than that, I will have my code in the description if you want that with a paste bin. And make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. But I hope you guys have a nice day, and goodbye.